Welcome to Agents of Screen, the first and only place to come to for movie reviews live at the cinema. We have just finished watching It Chapter 2. We're going to let you know what we liked, what we didn't like, and of course, we're going to give it our score, our special score out of 10. But as always, we're going to kick off with our first impressions before we get into the nitty gritty of the film. Ed, I'm going to come to you first. What did you think? Um, all right, mate, first impressions, like, as soon as I sat down in the cinema, I was like, you know, I was really, really, really looking forward to this film. I was like, It Chapter 2, It Chapter 1 was like the first horror film in, in many moons where I was kind of like, a good story, good story, because they never have a good story. Sorry, Aaron. But uh, yeah, so I was kind of watching it. I was like, right, I'm looking forward to this Chapter 2. At first, I was a bit like, oh, how, do, how am I going to know which adults correspond to which kids? But I think they've done it quite well. Like, they actually look exactly the same. Is it just me or do they look exactly the same? Yeah, the casting was immaculate. Mate, each person, I was like, I know exactly who that is. Mate, first impressions was... I went in there thinking, right, I'm highly anticipated. I can't wait to watch this. Boy, well, I'll say, I uh, don't want to give too much away of my, of my review, okay. but... I wasn't disappointed. Okay, fair enough. So Ben, I know you've been highly anticipating this film. What's your first impressions? Like this year, my most anticipated films coming into this year, no particular order, were Godzilla, okay. Toy Story. <laughs> yeah, Toy Story, Godzilla, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, yes. Endgame, yes. and this. Okay. They, they, they were my top five anticipated films. So coming into this, I, I had high hopes. Mm -hmm. Like I love number one. We all love number one. Okay. Number two, I don't know. Hopefully we'll come to some sort of understanding, some sort of score. But let's get into what we enjoyed about the film, Ed. What I, it's going to be weird because what I enjoy about this film, I've critiqued other films for. The structure was so basic for this film. It was like, kind of like, you know the Saw films? All those films where it was, walk into a room, see someone get murked, walk into another room, see another way someone gets murked, and I, was, I always used to just be like, oh, such a bad formula. This film was kind of like, introduce that person, introduce that person, and so forth. Then it was, see that person get murked, see that person get murked, because they all went on their solo ways, yeah, didn't it? See that one get murked, see that one get murked. And I was kind of like, yeah, obviously I know we're going to go through each and every person, but I liked it because I was interested. I was kind of like, I want to know what happens with each of these people. I was actually like, I've seen these lots since they were kids. Like, and now they've grown up. I, I want to see what they were doing when they went solo, because I didn't know I, I didn't know there was a, a big thing when I watched chapter one. Did, did you know that there was like, oh, each something happens to each one of them? I didn't flipping know that. Yeah. So I was kind of like, oh, extra layers, to the extra layers, man, extra layers. The structure was basic, but I was invested enough into this story where I'm kind of like, yeah, 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 I, I don't mind. I, I just want to keep watching. I just want to know what happens. And apparently this has a long run time, right? It does didn't feel like that to me did it like controversial i, I know controversial. that's that might be uh, okay so i've heard some people say oh it was too long and all that stuff i was sitting there watching it like every throughout the whole thing i, I just not once was i like oh come on never okay fair enough i'll get into that later when we go into our dislikes i would say as ed's touched on in his first impressions i thought the casting was immaculate yes the kid <laughs> actors matched the adult actors perfectly and i don't know if you guys know the the guy that played the black kids he's the guy from the old spice commercials what the one in the shower yeah the the shoulder guy. and he's right sir so, now i'm riding a horse now look at your boyfriend now look back to me now look at your boyfriend now look back to me yeah hello ladies look at your man now back to me now back at your man now back to me sadly he isn't me but if he stopped using ladies scented body wash and switched to old spice he could smell like he's me ben what did you like just to echo what both you two said, I've got to completely agree. I feel like the casting was on point. When it, there's like one, like that, the adult on the screen, you're just like, rah, oh, like he, this could be his offspring. Like, <laughs> that, that could be their offspring. You know, it's like, it's like straight out Compton. So he's seen the film, he, like, Ice Cube's son okay. plays Ice Cube. So that's that's kind of what it's like, but they got actors to do it. So I think that's great casting. Yeah, great casting. And two standouts. With Bill Hader and Bill Skarsgård, you know, you call, if you call Bill, you're just perfect for this film. Cause boy, Bill Skarsgård in particular, he killed Pennywise. I feel like there's a lot more positives to take away from this film than negatives. Okay. Another positive I will say is I've heard a lot of people say runtime is long. Yeah, at points the runtime does feel long, but I was invested in the character arcs. We saw them grow up, we saw them as children, but then there was a bit like there's a bit we didn't see. 
and we got to see that that them bits that we never saw in the first one yeah, so it definitely adds to the story yeah it so i love that they added things from their childhood yeah. as well as that the, yeah. the present time something else i really enjoyed i thought the there were a lot of jump scares but i thought that you couldn't really anticipate when they would come you would be waiting for it but you wouldn't know exactly you would think you'll come here but then it would come maybe slightly later or in very creative ways did you get a jump scare no, I didn't I'm jump. Gonna, I didn't I'm find it bit, scary. I, but no, I, I, no, I, no, no, what he's saying is, what he's saying is, the jump scares yeah. were in different, right, on yeah, obstacle yeah, yeah. places. I kind of disagree. I, I read every single jump scare there. Yeah. It was quite obvious, but it's not a bad thing. You I, know, I, that's what I mean. I, I you never, yeah, 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 yeah. I never, I never found the first one scary, but I really enjoyed the film. And that's what, that, that's where we, someone, some of us have had an argument once. If you go to watch a horror film and it doesn't scare you. Does that mean it's a bad film? Because if you go to watch a comedy and it doesn't make you laugh, is that a bad comedy? But I really enjoyed the film. It didn't scare me. This horror didn't scare me, but I really enjoyed the film. I thought it was a good story. On that point, so, I felt that this movie was less of a horror and more of a character journey yeah, with yeah, yeah. horror oh, elements. It's definitely plans. less scary than the first one. Yeah. And I didn't even find the first one scary. So okay. this I just really enjoyed anyway. Okay, now that we've talked about what we did like let's touch on what we didn't like you said ben that there was more things to like yeah. more things that were positive than there were negative yeah. in this film that being said what didn't you like mates this like as i said it's a long film and at points i thought the pacing of this film is it, off the pacing's off i'm just gonna say that from now on the pacing is complete mate i knew there was a beginning i didn't know when the middle was i can't even lie to you but right, well, where was the middle where did the end start like this is a big like this is a fat book this is fat like it's a fat book so they had a lot to cram in and there were points where they was cramming so much in that they couldn't let a scene develop yeah it was two hours and 50 minutes something close to three hours it definitely felt like that to me it definitely felt especially the end like the, the, as you as we touched on earlier the middle even though it was long it was character development and I was invested in the story but the end I felt was a bit messy for my money I felt it was very messy at the end what did you think Ed? Mate, I don't know I didn't really get that feeling but you know what it's weird maybe I was too invested because I just didn't feel like it dragged like to me I was just really just, I just, all I wanted to do was just see what happens I was like yeah and what else happens and what else happens and what else happens so I never really got that feeling what I didn't really like is how it ended pretty much the same as the first one <laughs> that, was pretty, that was weird to me like they literally just did the same thing it was just the same and again some people might say oh yeah it came full circle or so whatever they want to call it but i just i reckon i know it's a remake and i know this stayed much truer to the source material than the original one did but it would have been nice to maybe change it so i don't know what the hell's about it. Like, i don't know it's hard to say because i know i know people get mad if they change oh why did you change that but it was just the same as the first one and that for me was a bit like fair oh. point fair point what i would say and this is a spoiler we talk about the ends and again i know this is from the source material but the whole thing just like you said it was just like the first one oh you just have to make him believe that he's small exactly. and then we can get him oh my god exactly i know you're clear i know you make believe i know you feed on fair all i have to do is just not believe in you just like in the first one 27 years ago and you'll be diminished. This is the thing, this is what should have happened, right? At the end of the, when they first saw him, should they not have just been like, you know what, I, I did you when I was a kid, like I'll do this again. I'm, a, I'm an adult now, like I'm a... What, just because like four random adults are screaming, you're a stupid clown, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a no. Why are we watching the Scorpion King, lad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scorpion King, the the king rock. Rock. You know, at the end, they started going, they started going clown, clown, clown. Oh, no, it's like, you're a clown, you're a clown. So one thing I also didn't particularly like, the bully, Bowers, he escaped from the mental asylum and then went on a rampage. Mm -hmm. But I felt like if he were to take his scenes out of the movie, oh, yeah, it wouldn't he wouldn't, he wouldn't change would anything. Change. So I felt it was more just to add a bit of action, yeah, yeah, a plot yeah, device, yeah, yeah. a bit of more. Human threat kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so, he, he had his zombie uh, driver. Like, yeah, that the driver was <laughs> joke. So I'll be honest, that took a bit of, uh, this is going to sound silly, but it took a bit of realism away from me when I watched that. Like, yeah, I, 
I was kind of like, well, why is this on? I understand when he was under the bed, because that's what Pennywise does. But then when he's like driving a car as well. Look at what is this? What is this? Actually, one thing I will say, like, I mean, it's a, it's a bit of a nitpick. It's like, well, it's a film. It's like, while all this is happening, yeah, yeah. where's, like, is there a citizens in this town? Like, I swear, <laughs> not one citizen. Yeah, is real. Like, a house just fell. For, like, did they only see the house falling through the ground? Like, that's if true. I was next door, I'd run out my house. Like, what the hell? I didn't see a single person, single that's living true. soul on that street. Like, it's like everyone was oblivious to what was happening around them yeah. in this in this town. I'll tell you another thing that was uh, decent, uh, possibly decent about the future of this franchise. Obviously, there's nowhere it can go. It can't go future anymore like it's done but there's so much to tackle if pennywise has been around every 27 years for, billions of for years. how long yeah. yeah they could if they in theory do a prequel we could see the natives try and deal with him we could see they could even do one uh, just do about 20 films just keep going back 27 years each time yeah now this was 20 years before that do a film this was 20 years before that do a film start well, start with the cavemen and they're like yeah <laughs> 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 cloud, cloud. <laughs> also something that was nice, nice little cameo, nice little throw in. In the pharmacy, like he said, you got to see Stephen King. Not the pharmacy, sorry. The, the shop. So thought, in the I shop, so you know. in the shop when uh, he went to get his bike back. back. Yeah, right, yeah. exactly. So you saw Stephen King behind the counter. I thought that was a nice uh, little cameo thought, as well. Looks like Stephen King. Like. He's a weirdo, but yeah, it was a nice little cameo. Bro. <laughs> if you've read the book, you'll know what they've done yeah, to they, flipping wow. uh, thing in the. Oh, yeah. It's a bit wild. Wait, yeah, what? They ran a train on her. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah after okay, the first yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, unity. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was mad. So now that we've discussed it, chapter two, let's get into our scores out of 10, which is our favorite part. Let's grade it. Let's let you know if this film is worth watching. Speaking of which, Ed, I'm going to come to oh, you first. first. We uh, need your, 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 your well esteemed opinion. This film, right? It's kind of like a. It's. It's. it's if I'm gonna score this film. Uh, I gave. I think I gave it chapter one eight point five. Oh, hi. Yeah, 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 mate. Good film. Good. Good film. Good film. I would give chapter two um, an eight. So eight. Ben, I'm gonna come to you. Mm. How do you score this film? Mate, after having a discussion about the film, Much you know, we 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 fleshed out what we liked and didn't like. I've seen the light, let's just say. My review on It Chapter 2 is, I liked it. I, I liked it, but I think going into this film where I was anticipating a lot from it, I was a bit disappointed from what I got from it. Okay. I did enjoy it, like it, let's say It Chapter 1, more than It Chapter 2, but that's not to say that it's a bad film. I think the casting was great. I think both bills were great, but the pacing was off, and I feel like sometimes the characters showed not much emotion so for instance someone just got stabbed in the face and he's like oh rah anyway and, and just carry on pattern, man. yeah like yeah. and like you just tomahawk someone in the back of the skull and it's like i just killed someone <laughs> okay cool anyway so oh you good like anyway exactly so i just feel like like the characters didn't show much emotion for what like real life situations okay. so but yeah all in all it's a good film it's not amazing so I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Okay. What I would say, and I'm not particularly a fan of horrors in general. I didn't particularly enjoy It Chapter One. That being said, what? It Chapter Two, I did, yeah, I, did, I found it quite funny. What? <laughs> I found it quite funny and it, I felt like it wasn't meant to be funny. So in a, going into the second one, I kind of managed my expectations. Yeah. You know, I wasn't expecting to be scared you know and if it doesn't scare me then it's like why, why have i come to watch this we have to come here but <laughs> <laughs> but i did enjoy this film it was a bit tad bit long certain bits in the end kind of pissed me off and what i would say overall i think it was a nice little bow on the it story i think it was a good little cherry round in. Nice, nice little one. cherry Sorry. so I out of 10 my score will be a 7.5 so after Ed's calculations, using the you know, the much herald Blackberry. I did it in my head, you didn't need the Blackberry. Our average score out of the three agents is 7.5. So that has been our review of It Chapter 2. What did you think? 
Did you enjoy it? Did you think it was a waste of time? Did Pennywise scare you? But as always, we have been the Agents of Screen. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, all of that good stuff. And until the next video, which will be coming very, 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 very soon. It's peace. <laughs>